Hi, my juicy Libra. Welcome to your love tarot reading, Eric and Dabra, baby. Today we are doing the classic you versus them. We're going to see what is going on between you and your baby. Whatever that means to you, situation, relationship, bumble date, marriage. All right, let's see. Please show me angels of love. What is happening for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, in their person. This is your January 24 energy. We assume some kind of a rift or separation between you and your baby. I was just telling Cancer, I've been out of breath doing videos recently, and it's like, I don't know, like, it's, is it excitement? Is it because it's so cold in my apartment? Oh my gosh, you know what? Cyprus is so cold in winter. And the infrastructure, I mean, I have a great apartment, so happy with it, but it's just so cold, and the housing here, because it's not made for winter. Okay, uh, I'm not complaining, I'm so blessed to be here. Oh, but boo, yeah, rift or separation. Your baby, they're not doing so good. Grim Reaper, Grim Reaper, reaping, reaping the karmas. Douche flute. Well, someone deserves it though. So somebody deserves to not be doing so good. <laughs> the star, they see was their salvation. So they know they did you a boo boo. This isn't someone who's like still insisting they're in the right. Uh uh. <clears throat> no, Libra, they know they did you a bit, but they know they deserve it. They know they're a douche flute. This is a douche flute, you know, douche flute anonymous. All right, so let's see. What is <laughs> the Empress? Look, you're coming out as the Empress, Emperor, anyone in between gender is arbitrary. So someone's definitely like, I'm really effed it up with Libra. I need to like try and do something about it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Empress, uh, Empress twice and their intentions also the Empress. Someone's coming back and trying to, trying to. They're trying to, trying so hard. But they think it's so over. It's like, I'm, you know, I'm, you're done with them. They're done for. It's kind of like, blah. blah. Somebody has friends or family who are giving them good advice saying, you know, keep your chin up. You know, just try, just apologize, just do the right thing. You never know. And those people are on the right side of history, but both. Someone's trying to help this relationship. Also, Libra, let me just say welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot. I love you. I see why I appreciate you. Give your mommy a kiss. I love you so much, Libra. You know I do because I'm Scorpio Sun and Rising, but in Vedic, I am a Libra Rising. So... I got those Libra tingles, baby. I love you so much. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on that notification button. Leave me a little comment down below for the AI overlords because it really helped your mommy out if you feel like it, of course. Let's see what happened in the past to make this. What did this uh, douche flute do? <laughs> what happened here? Libra, how are you doing in 2024? Hope you're doing uh, as well as you look, baby. Ah, the moon. La Luna. Mm -mm -mm. Lies, paints on fire. <laughs> yeah. Between you, the King of Cups, someone being very emotional, someone, um, someone dealing with addictive behavior, anything from shopping to substances to, you know, like, you know, other things, like more nefarious things. Someone had repetitive, addictive, chronic behavior. It could be a chronic liar, too, interestingly enough. But someone who is a lover. Very interesting. So if it was a bimbo himbo, anyone between you met on Tinder on a Tuesday, someone started out with lies. They did not show you their true nature because they, they struggle with something uh, that is addictive or chronic repetitive behavior. Let's put in, um, yeah, see the high priestess, they hid that from you. Let's see, what is this about? Ooh, the Ten of Wands, yeah, it's a big burden for them. I think for some of you, it's someone who is a self-pronounced sexy addict, Libra. Um, I'm not a fan of that term. I don't, you know, like, let's not get into it. I know a lot of people struggle with all kinds of different things, but I'm not a big fan of that term because I think a lot of people who cheat just say, well, I'm sex at it. You know, like, no, you're not. You're just a douche flu. Um, but I think it is someone who believes, you know, there's something like of the desire here. So someone has a strong desires and urges for something. It could be for that. It could be for, uh, you know, other things that are to do with addictive behavior and it's been a big burden in their life. If someone was weird in the messages with you, somebody could have um, been on and off with communication, leaving you on scene, disappearing. It's because of that uh, addictive chronic behavior. Um, I don't think, I'll tell you one thing though, I don't think it's cheating, I don't think it's another person. I don't see an ex here, I don't see somebody secretly married. I see um, like a chronic pattern in them that's just like, 
just it overpowers them and takes over and they can't control it and you figured it out Libra because you're the page of swords here you are uh you know the scholar the little bit build the little researcher you know what's up you figured it out you're too sharp for people you know people try and dupe you they try and lie to you they can't do that to a Libra. Libra's going to weigh it up, but Bill, you are the justice. Um, if it was an established connection, this weren't your first rodeo with this douche flute test, anyone, douche, douche flute test anyone in between. <clears throat> that wasn't the first rodeo. They swore up and down, but then for a long time they hid the fact that they uh, went back to a bad behavior. <sighs> and I see this burning desire overpowering them, whatever it was, baby. Gambling, too. This could be Knight of Wands could be, is a gambler, someone who can't help it. You could also be dealing with an Aries, by the way. For some reason, that's relevant. Uh, it doesn't have to be. It could be in their big three or in, the, in their Venus or Mars. But there's like Aries energy here, someone who can't help themselves but keep doing something. Um, and you found out. You saw a message. You saw uh, their search history. You figured that out, baby. Columbo. Um... And this person's like, oh no, I'm done for. Like, that's it. Libra's never going to forgive me. I really effed up. And their intentions, they want to return to you. Something could have happened here, went down at the turning of the season. So um, there could have been a showdown in um, like around October, maybe around your birthday, even before, um, you know, the, um, the Empress here. So whenever the seasons turned last time, uh, and went into either or around, you know, the holiday period when we went into the winter time or when we went into f the fall period, which would have been the time of your birthday, that something went down here. For some of you, it's been a full year, full circle. Somebody is trying to circle back in. The Queen of Wands, in the immediate future, this person is going to actually reach out to you. Um, it may be like a weird message. It may be like, I keep thinking about you. I'm so sorry. I'm not sure if it's an apology. They may fall short of an apology, and you may not accept it. Let's see. And then we'll get some advice. This is someone who's in the short term reaching out, yeah, unfinished business, but they're going to fall short of an apology, and you're not going to accept it. Hey, it's me. And you're going to be like, no, keep hanging in there. Bit bound. Go to therapy. <laughs> I'm like, no, thanks. You know, they're going to be like, oh, I'm thinking about you. I can't sleep at night or something like pity stuff. Instead of just saying, hey, I'm a douche flute and I know it. You know, they know they got to do it with the Sumper's hair. But they're, uh, they're going to fall short in the immediate communication. Let's see what the advice is. But this is someone who's going to keep coming back for justice. They know they require your forgiveness. So let's see. We show me angels of love. What is the advice for Libra? Six of Wands. Huh. Libra, you know, not everyone deserves a medal for loving you. You know what I'm saying? This person kept falling short. This person kept, um, if it was, even if it was a new energy, they, they fell short so in, extremely. And, you know, without debate, then, like, they don't necessarily deserve a prize just for loving you. Know this, Libra. You have the power to heal yourself and you have the power to choose out of this person's competition. Choose the best one, all right? Made the fastest runner win. Made, made the biggest boo -boo. I don't know. <laughs> you know, the, the, I, I don't know, like the tennis person with the biggest tennis racket when when the Olympics. Okay, I'm not very good at sports, but you know what I'm saying. Like, you know, that's the biggest ball win. <laughs> Um, this person is competition. Put yourself out there. Don't forget that you have other options. This person does love you, but they don't deserve a medal for loving you when they effed up this badly, baby. That's your advice. Let me know in the comments below. This is your story, baby. If you are interested in a personal reading, all the information is also down below. I will see you next time, my people. Stay sparkly, stay gorgeous, stay moisturized, and may the angels.